Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back. Let's play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the Sony PlayStation 4. Hang on. And last uh, last time, we took on Sephiroth after doing some uh, synthesis pickup stuff. And today, we're going to take on the Goddess of the Fate Cup, which is the final of the regular Coliseum Cup here. So, uh, no special rules in this tournament. Fight, fight alongside your friend. Uh, so, with this, some of the matches have special rules. So some of the rounds have uh, special rules. Each battle will have different objectives and surprises. Get a higher score by collecting orbs. Accomplish more orbs. Let's go. For the most part, this is going to be a pretty easy one. Especially since I think we're uh, a bit over level for it. There's going to be a couple that will say, hey, you got to get... Uh, uh, well, it kind of runs out, you know, like this, but it's, as you can see, not terribly hard. Ooh, uh, all the points are down, huh? We got 50 points right here, and we have to kill these guys before they, uh, before they take out all our points right there. But as you can see, again, not too hard. These guys, they look very familiar to an enemy in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. You guys are kind of yes. These red guys, yeah, goodbye. Okay. Come on. Honestly, if we haven't ran out, if we haven't ran out, if we didn't run out of our magnet right there, we would have been fine. But oh well. What am I targeting? Oh, there we go. Yeah. You guys all need to die. Not the form I was trying to go to. I was actually trying to go to, uh... I was actually trying to go to final form, not met, uh, wisdom form. But whatever, I'll take it. Gotta, you gotta kill these guys before time runs out, but they're fat bandits, so, and the fire guys, so, not that hard. Honestly, these guys, uh, they can get rid of your points kinda quickly, but again, not hard as you can see, so, yeah. And this one, we must survive for a minute, I think, for 30 seconds, or whatever it is they want us to survive for. Which is not hard, and you get a fair amount of points out of this, too, so, you know. Come on, give me your, uh, your reaction command. There you go. And there we go. Nice, easy fight there. Semi-final match. We're in the dark here. Again, it's not too dangerous. The cars are a bit of a pain in the ass, but they're the weaker version of the cars. They're not the ones in the. Uh, they're, they're not the ones in. Like, if I could actually target Hades, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, they're not the ones from like the Cabinet of Remembrance. So how do I? There you go. I'm trying to remember how to change my camera angle. It wasn't working. Let's go, Hades. Okay, uh, target him. There you go. Yeah, with final form here. Uh, Hades is not going to stand much of a chance. So we're good to go. And, yeah, I think the flex spam would actually work out pretty well here. Let's try it. And yeah, there we go. Goddess of the Fate Cup. Pretty easy, actually. And the cup looks, the cup looks really cool, too. I like the way that looks. And we get Fatal Crest, which has Berserk Charge as this ability, so that'll be useful for some of the mushrooms. And our final Aura Calcum Plus to make our... To make our uh, ultimate weapon. Let's go. Oh, 
ultimate weapon, we are required to use energy crystal, and we don't care about experience because we can't actually get any experience. But if we wanted to, we could get, you know, extra, extra experience. Uh, but yeah. You have just enough work health and pluses in the game to make this. Um, apparently I have more energy crystals. I don't know where I got the other energy crystals from, but uh, I'll take it. And we got <clears throat> the new ultimate weapon increases MP restoration by 75% once all MP has been consumed. Yeah, look at that. That's some good stuff right there. And it looks really cool, too. Like, it's not, uh, it's definitely a different design from the, it's definitely a different design from the uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 version, but it still looks really cool. It still has, like, the sword in the middle, uh, I don't know, it just looks nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. It definitely looks a bit more fancy. Uh, from what I've seen of the uh, one in Kingdom Hearts 3, it is a mixture of like the Kingdom Hearts 1 version and this one. Alright, so that is all the regular cups right there. And now, if we go back and talk to Pain and Panic, uh, there is, or there should be, a... There should be a new... There should be a new challenge there, I think. So you'll notice that the Hades Cup, the Hades Cup here, was not the Hades Cup of Kingdom Hearts One, where you had like 50 rounds or whatever. Uh, but if we talk to this guy right here, uh, how do I do this? Uh, Pain and Panic? No. How do I do this? Uh, no. There's supposed to be a way to get to a different type of cup here. Oh wait, I think we actually have, I think we actually have to go talk to Hades in his chamber. Hey, this is the uh the vendor. I'm gonna get you to actually work this time. There. Let's go. This is not gonna give me the uh, the best odds, but I'll take it. All right, and then you. Yeah, once they start getting lower on health, they start getting more. Uh, Let's go. Start getting more jumpy there. There we go. Serenity crystal, neat. Okay, uh, yeah, we gotta get to. We gotta get to where Hades at is at in order to actually do the next uh, part here. Uh, and do I remember how to get to Hades? Uh, not, enti not entirely, no. So, uh, I think it's. I wanna say it's through here. But I could be entirely wrong. Yeah, it's through here, because this is where uh, we fought. This is where we fought the uh, servers, I think. Atrium. I could be going the wrong way, but I'm reasonably sure. Hey, it's another mushroom. Uh, quickly defeat the enemies that appear. We'll come back to you later, because I'm not trying to fight you right now. The lock. No, this is uh, not quite where I'm trying to go. Well, it's nice to know the mushroom is right here. We're going to do that later. You could do the mushroom earlier, and you get a, uh, a Keyblade for Sora, uh, which has... I don't remember what the ability is. It's a decent ability. But frankly, I'm not terribly worried about it at the moment. I mean, we've basically done everything in the game except for the final Coliseum stuff. The... 
the data fights, and then the mushrooms. So what we could pro what we'll probably try to do is do the mushrooms before the data fights. That way we can make even more items if we, uh, if we want to. And then we'll do the, uh, the data fights as the final thing, basically, pretty much. The question is, how long is it going to take me to to win all those data fights and mushrooms? That's the question that I don't have an answer to because, frankly, those things are hard, and I've never done them, and I'm going the wrong way because I'm lost in here. You know what? That's fine. I mean, I've done, like, the couple mushrooms that we've seen right here, and that's it. Uh... Map. Yeah, we gotta get to the, we gotta get to Hades, and sadly, I don't think he has a. Uh, I didn't even see what that said because uh, I was not paying attention. Uh, oh, maybe maybe they have it. At, maybe they have it unlocked now. I don't know. The Underground Extreme. I don't know why it says Extreme now, but no. Yeah, I think we actually do have to go find Hades for this. So... Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we have left to do besides... Uh, may, maybe try to get the high score in all the uh, minigames and stuff in order to try... in order to... I don't know if you... I don't know if you... I don't know if you need to get all that for like this, the more secret ending stuff. Because I'm trying to remember which which ending we already got. I'll have to go back and look at the last episode that we, or the episode with like the uh, final fight and stuff like that, and see what we got, and try to remember how many different um, try to remember how many different endings there are. Because there might be like two or three movies, but I don't remember how many exactly. I think this is the closest we're going to get to Hades' chamber in terms of the save point. But that's not too bad. It'd be nice if they put a save point in here, but now that we can talk to Hades, let's go. The Hades Paradox Cup. So, we need to defeat the Paradox Cups in order to get access to the Hades Paradox Cup, or I'm sorry, uh, the final cup, which will be the Hades the Hades Paradox Cup, and that's the one that's going to have like 50 rounds or something like that. And so, it's the same rules as the other stuff, as the other tournaments that we did. Like, it's the same Pain and Panic Cup, except the level requirement is higher, so the enemies are stronger. So, let's get going. Limits consume SMP, but the drive, god, drive, drive gauge can't be used. Get a higher score effect in orbs. Okay. And then we uh, have a player here. And we just uh, spam. Duck Flare, I think that just gives like tons of points here pretty much. Or we can just, you know, cheese everything with proper a little bit. There we go. I think you have to get score requirements in jet. Okay, uh, let's see. Titan Cup. Uh... Um, where are they?
Uh, so we have to win. Uh, we have to win with a score of twenty five hundred or more. Okay, that's not too bad. Honestly, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Even if we, even if we largely ignore the uh, the limits and stuff, I think it's not going to cause too many problems. We might have to like redo it once or twice, just because I am ignoring the uh... Right. Okay, you're get out of that right there. There we go. And I used my letter right as the uh, match ended. Okay. Try that again. And yeah, basically just spam your... Your limits here, and uh, things will work out for you. Oh yeah. Extended or it's a, it's a double score mode. There we go. I can deal with that. That was weird that I couldn't hit him with uh, thunder for some reason. It was kind of odd, but whatever. I haven't actually used the uh, Trinity Limit in this game, so I don't remember what I was supposed to do with that. <laughs> okay. But that's not too bad. We're playing. I wonder how long the, uh, the double swarm mode is, but it might still actually be active, I'm not sure. Either way, I think we're going to get the... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the uh, 1200 or 2500 points here. It's not a good issue. But we probably should take a look at the, the new keyblade we got, even if I'm not gonna use it right away. And yeah, we got, we got the points. We got the, I don't think you get anything rewards wise for the Paradox stuff. I think you just need him in the journal for like the, uh, the secret uh, ending or whatever. Or whichever it is we're trying to look at here. Semi-finals. Get correct. Yeah, these guys are highly resistant to thunder, it seems like, because that was doing nothing. Hey, it's uh, the people who are supposed to go. You're not going to cause any problems while you're the fellas, you know? That ain't good. Alright, so Leon is dead. Now you be. The, uh, one of the things about the book drive is because it is uh, because you are just doing infinite combos so you don't have any finishers, you're not going to finish a boss that way. Who calls him competitor? Here we go. Uh, what does that do for us? Win the Pain and Panic Paradox Cups. Yeah, I think I think it might actually be like a trophy for each cup right there or something like that. Uh, how are we at on time? Yeah, 19 minutes. We can keep going. We can keep going. All right, so next up would be the Cerberus Cup, which I think got. I think that was going to be super easy because we can just spam uh, Drive Forms. Yeah, Drive Forms, and then this one we can use Summons. So that's nice. Uh, let's see. So for Cerberus Paradox Cup, uh, let's see. We need to get th a score of thirteen hundred. Okay, this is going to be uh, pretty easy. Yeah, sadly we don't get any rewards for this other than unlocking the uh, final uh, cup there, the uh, Hades Paradox Cup. Um, and as for that one, we get... A trophy. I don't even know if it's the trophy, like... Um, it, it might be a... It might be the... I know, I know it's the trophy in the, uh, 
in the lobby, but it might also be a trophy like on the trophy list here. I can fight all of them, that's... Sir, that is everything I've ever asked for. My entire goal in life is to fight alone. We are awesome. Okay, we need to get 1300, so we need to do better than that round, at least. There you go, look at that. Fantastic, we took like two seconds there. And yeah, we have a time limit, but the time limit's not something I'm terribly worried about. There you go. Get wrecked, sir. Double score mode. Let's go. And like I said, we need to get 1300. So we're doing okay so far. Okay. And there we go. Too easy. Wow, we are destroying these things. We probably could have come down here and done these, like, a while ago, but whatever. That worked out uh, pretty good. Ah, okay, there we go. I was trying to get hit right there primarily just so I could get some, uh... So I can get some MP back there, but then I wasted it anyways. Hey, uh, Cerberus, let's go, puppy! Somebody tells me you're not gonna put up too much of a fight. You have a lot of health, but I don't think you're gonna cause uh, any issues. If I get my uh, magic back, yeah, here we go. Come on, attack me. There you go. You're not attacking me, dog. He's doing a very poor job of attacking me here. Because, uh... Thunder's working out pretty good here, but yeah, I don't think the physical attacks are doing pretty good. And we need to get back into well, attack on I guess, because uh, that's what I hit. Yeah. we have the uh I thought we had like an instant finisher ability this form. Oh well. Either way, he didn't put up that much of a fight. We're good to go. Let's go. Hey, uh, why are you here? Donald. Sorry. I don't know why you're, uh, there, sir. Okay, and now we got the... Did we not get the, uh... I guess we didn't get a trophy for the Cerberus Paradox Cup. That's weird. Uh, Pain and Panics. Oh no, we did. I just didn't see it, I guess. Huh. Wait a second. Are the screenshots for that just a blank screen? <laughs> That's pretty fucking hilarious. I don't know why those were all coming up as just blank screens. Okay, yeah, that's where I got my uh, levels. The world that never was, it looks like, for level 99. Good stuff. Uh, that cracks me up, though. They, they just give me a blank screen for that. Okay, Titan Paradox Cups. We can use summons. Uh, let's see. And our score requirement for that would be... 10,000. Which is double what, uh, what it was previously. That's right, we have the, um, 
we have like the little health bar type thing. Yeah, we have that like little secondary health bar type deal. So, Stitch will be our point, man. Skip that, but whatever. Yeah, Stitch will help us uh, because he'll let us uh, recover all of our mana a lot. So that'll be perfect. Yeah, Stitch will be the man of the hour. Uh, we need to get 10,000 points. That's kind of a lot. There we go. Gather him up and try not to get hit here. There we go. We need Stitch to. I need you. You're not giving me your swords. I can't get my berserk command. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. And there goes all. There goes our bunch of our uh, key points or whatever. We really got to get ten thousand points. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, am I? No. I don't know. Peter Pan. Oh, Peter Pan actually also does give a lot of. Uh, Points, isn't he? Uh... Oh, crap. Yeah, using the tiny fairy thing, that gives uh, a fair amount of points. I might have to redo this one, because this one is, uh... Might be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get these uh, 10,000 points here. Uh, yeah. I'd have to look at how I did it in the, uh... I'd have to look at how I did it in the, uh, ring hold version. That one said we had to get, like, 5,000 points, I think. Give me strength! Gather! Thunder! There we go. Uh, yeah, if we gotta get to like 5,000, or if we gotta get like uh, 10,000 more points, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for this. This might be one I have to see how other people do. There you go. Ah, Magnet Thunder, the best combo. Gather. Give me strength. Gather. Gather. Take this. There you go, good stitch. Uh, yeah, we need, if we actually need ten thousand points, that's a bit much. Uh, Gather. Light. Unless we just end up getting a ton of points from, uh, Portuguese here. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, look at that Good stuff. Yeah, we're... Uh, unlike, the, unlike the first time we fought, uh, our key points or whatever it is are those aren't those aren't causing any problems. But if we actually have to come out of this with ten thousand Olympus points or whatever, that might be an issue here. There we go. That's easy. We beat it, but I uh, don't know if we actually need to get more... Huh. 
Okay, there's the Hades Paradox Cup. Um... Journal... Commissions... Yeah, they want us to win some of these with... Oh, for the journal here, they want us to get these extra... extra ass points. 10,000 points? That's kind of ridiculous. How the fuck do you get 10,000 points? Um... Oh, we need uh, the wishing la the wishing lamp keyblade. Okay, let me check something here real fast. Uh, Jiminy's journal. How much of this do we actually need to complete in order to get like? The final reward and whatnot here. Uh, let's see. I'll probably look that up. Hmm. Right now, I'll be in. Okay. So, yeah, with the journal stuff here, um, if you're playing on normal mode, you need to 100% the journal in order to see the secret ending. And so it's kind of confusing. I was looking it up, and it's like, hey, you got three secret endings in Kingdom Hearts 2.5 uh, HD Final Mix or whatever. We do, but there's one per game, pretty much. So there's, uh, we got, we already got the secret ending for Kingdom Hearts 2 here, which was the Birth by Sleep one, where it was, you know, that key, that uh, Keyblade uh, Graveyard. So, yeah, we don't need to do any more of the journal stuff, unless we, unless I think if we want to get, like, some trophies out of it, which, frankly, I'm not entirely concerned about. Uh, let's see, I want to see if I, uh, it'll tell me which, which, uh, ones I'm missing. No, it won't. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to like do all the character stuff, all the heartless stuff. I thought we, I thought we had all the heart. No, uh, with the heartless, we need to uh, beat the uh, mushroom thirteen. So those are heartless. Uh, all the treasures. So that's like one or more right there. Uh, mission entries, mini games. So yeah, it's a lot of trophy type stuff that, frankly, I'm not at hundred percent terribly worried about. Uh, I mean, I might still try to get them, but at the same time, it's not a huge deal. I mean, yeah, we were kind of gung-ho about it in Kingdom Hearts 1, but the rest of these, I'm not as terribly worried about it. Or if we do, uh, well, it's going to take a while to get. It might be like one of those things where we come back to it as, as necessary. But yeah, um, if you're playing on normal mode, you need to beat, or you need to complete the... How do you keep doing this? You need to... Yeah, uh, you need to, on normal mode, you need to actually complete the journal to get that Keyblade Graveyard secret movie, but on proud mode, you just need to, um, you need, you need, a, whole, you need a whole lot of that. I think you need to complete, uh, I already don't remember. I don't remember exactly what you need to do on crowd mode, but you need a whole lot less, let's put it that way. Either way, we've already seen it, so if you've been following the series, then we already saw the secret episode for Kingdom Hearts 2 here, so we're good. Um, the rest of the stuff is just... 
for trophies. So we'll probably try to do those eventually. Um, but for now, we're just going to do everything else. Ah, yeah, those gummy missions. Those would be a pain in the ass. But either way, for now, we have defeated the Paradox Cups, except for the final one, which we'll take on next episode. So guys, uh, let's check out that uh, Fatal Crest right there. It looks really cool. It's just like a skeletal dragon type thing, so it's nice. It's got good magic there, so that's not too bad. So it's got it's got decent magic while the um, while you have magic, and then when you don't have magic, it has decent strength and infinite uh, infinite combos without any without any um, any combo finishers. Honestly, I think that's one of our higher magics. Are right there five? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's our highest magic right there. Wow. I think the weapon we get from the Mushroom 13 has the actual highest magic, I think. Uh, I remember correctly. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that has five strength and seven magic. Then it has the ability no experience, so yeah, it's okay. But really, ultimate weapon just has the nice balance of strength and magic. There, six and four. Uh, yeah, like Oblivion also has you know six strength. Actually, wait, hang on. Uh, now you have four, and you have three. Yeah, 6 damage, 4 strength. You're not going to get much better than that. Uh, Fenrir has a better physical stat and other stuff, you know, like Drumbling Rose has close to the physical stat. But Slice the Pumpkin has a pretty good too. But overall, just in general, Ultimate Weapon is the Numero Uno. But either way, we take care of all that. Next episode, we're going to take care of the uh, Goddess of Fate Cup. Uh, that might be a bit of a longer one since. I think that one, or I'm sorry, the Hades Cup, uh, and I think that one does actually have, um, yeah, it has, 50, it has 50 rounds, and various rounds have special rules and whatnot, so, oh well. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.